Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Today I want to show you a weird keyboard difference. This is the normal keyboard I use. Uh, it's a Logitech keyboard, not much, just yet, it's cool. It's a membrane keyboard as usual, but it's cool. What I have here, oh my god, is what I found lying around. This is the keyboard from some 20 years ago. It's, it has the old school Windows logo. So this is presumably before 2000. So let's see what 22 years worth of difference in keyboards are here. Now the first difference is that it's all wireless or even if they, are, they have modern USB-C, this is the wireless one. It's slightly more expensive, costing nearly the same as a gaming USB-C membrane keyboard. Well this has old school that uh, round one. I don't know what these are called. I mean, these are not fried. They look in good condition. And the outside is, yeah, pale, yellowish, yeah, slightly dirty. Not dusty, that's the thing. This is not dusty at all. Yeah, it has peeled out within 20 years of decaying. Another thing is, it should have come with a mouse, but it wasn't in the box yet. Yeah, it was in the box. Crazy to think that it was box. So this is also written as Mercury. So I don't know if this is a Logitech Mercury keyboard. I've got some bad news. Uh, I thought this is a Logitech keyboard. Turns out this is not a Logitech keyboard. This is a Mercury keyboard. Now, if you haven't heard of Mercury, I also haven't. It's actually such an obscure keyboard company. And. That's the real bad thing. I thought this a lot of the keyboard. Well, I guess it's still an old keyboard. One key thing both of the keyboards share is these both stands, which uh, makes your keyboard higher, so it's slightly more like uh, placed towards you. So let me place my camera down. Both are right now on the stand. Now I didn't expect this to be honest. I mean. Even if the whole computer is out there, I mean, this feels more bulky. Like, this is probably two to three, four centimeters. This is slightly thicker than a brand new MacBook. I mean, this is slightly thicker than a brand new MacBook, and this is oh, basically the size of my laptop. Now, the sad thing is that we can't exactly connect this old keyboard. I mean, but the PC I'm recording, my custom PC, sort of, um, doesn't have these plug points, even though modern PC has. So we won't be able to test this out. And I guess if you need an old PC part like that, you need an old PC to run. It's just, oh well, you do what that oral blisters Austin Evans does. Sorry, Austin Evans. Another thing I noticed that, oh my god, oh god, this is bulky. Here, there's a WWWZZZ, that's basically sleep, and wake. But basically, these are keys so that you can, like, uh, WW probably engaging the internet, and the sleep one to put it in sleep, and wake one is something else. Sleep, I'm just shocked that nowadays if you just go to the Windows key, just press the Windows key, through your mouse, press the power button or something, in your laptop that happens. I didn't expect this from such an old PC. In fact, there's another button that's kind of looking like a keyboard, this one. Now, if anybody has a similar keyboard like this, uh, or even older keyboards, uh, uh, email me, I'll leave my email in the description below. So what have we learned from this video? Well, this shows that just as simple, everything nowadays is getting thinner and thinner. I mean this, yeah, it's bulky, something like 2 to 3 centimeters and this is like 2 3 new MacBooks. So the main thing is, yeah, new keyboards are just more compact, like smaller, they have place. This has actually a couple of gaps, like a mechanical keyboard. So, that's loud. That's quite loud. So, yeah. The main thing is, 
everything has gone smaller and thinner. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.